Hello and welcome to WP Forums. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Salesforce add-on by WP Forms. The Salesforce add-on allows you to connect your WordPress forms to your Salesforce account and automatically add new leads to your contact list whenever a visitor fills out and submits a form on your site. You can use the Salesforce add-on to create leads, contacts, accounts, and other Salesforce objects without ever writing a single piece of code. With that said, let's jump right in. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Salesforce add-on. We can do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and scroll down until you find the Salesforce add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Now that the add-on has been activated, go to the Settings tab under WP Forms on the left and then click on the Integrations tab. Scroll down until you find the Salesforce integration and click on it to open the integration settings. You'll see three fields, one of which is called Callback URL. Copy the URL and keep it in your clipboard as we'll need this in a few moments. Open a new tab in your browser and log into your Salesforce account. We'll need to create an app within Salesforce to connect our account to WP Forms. Once you've logged in, make sure that you're using the classic dashboard. If not, you can click on your profile picture on the top right corner to switch to the classic dashboard. Click on the Setup tab on the top of the page and then use the search bar on the left to search for apps. In the left sidebar, click on the Apps option, which you can find at the bottom. On the next page, you should see a list of all of the available apps in Salesforce. In the bottom section called Connected Apps, click on the New button. The next page will show a list of settings you'll need to fill out. The connected app name is a nickname for your app, which your Salesforce users will see. This can be anything you'd like. The API name field will automatically default to the connected app name, but you can change this to whatever you'd like. And the contact email field should contain the email address of the person creating this app. In the next section, check the box called Enable OAuth Settings. Once you do, you'll be able to configure the app's permissions. The callback URL is the URL that you'll be directed to after you've allowed authorization for your connected app. This is also the URL that we copied earlier from the integrations page in WP Forms. Paste the copied URL into this field. We'll skip over the Use Digital Signatures checkbox and move on to the next setting. This tells Salesforce what permissions your app should have. In our case, WP Forms will only need two permissions, manage user data via APIs, and perform requests at any time, refresh token, and offline access. Add these permissions by selecting them in the left box and clicking the Add button to move them to the right. Once you've done that, click on the Save button at the bottom of the page to complete the setup process. If the connection was successful, You'll be redirected to a page, letting you know that it will take about 2-10 to 10 minutes for your changes to take effect on the server before using the connected app. We recommend that you wait the full 10 minutes before moving on to the next step to ensure that the app has been connected properly and avoid errors during this process. After 10 minutes, click the Continue button to find the following two pieces of information, a consumer key and consumer secret. On this page, you can find your consumer key directly under the API information in the app's profile. Copy the consumer key and tab back to your website. Paste this key into the consumer key field for the Salesforce integration settings. Go back to your Salesforce account, and in the same API section next to your consumer key, you should see a field called Consumer Secret and a link that says Click to Reveal. Click on it, copy the key, and paste it into the Consumer Secret field in WP Forms. Once you've done this, click on the Connect to Salesforce button and you'll be redirected to the Salesforce login page. After you log in, Salesforce will ask if you'd like to allow access to your account. Click Allow to finish the setup process. Afterwards, you'll be redirected back to WP Forms and should see a banner letting you know that the connection was successful. Now that we've connected our site to Salesforce, Let's create a new form and integrate it with our Salesforce account. Click on the Add New tab under WP Forms on the left to go into the Form Builder. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, 
or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. Let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. Let's add a drop down field and click on it to customize it. I want to use this field to ask visitors why they're contacting us. I'm going to update the labels for the options and click on the Save button on the top right corner when I'm done to save my changes. Now let's click on the Marketing tab on the left and click on the Salesforce tab. Click on the Add New Connection button on the top right corner and add a name for your connection. This is just meant for you to keep track of your connections if you decide to create multiple connections later on. Next, you're going to select the Salesforce account you'd like to use and then select the Salesforce object, which is the type of data you want to send from this form to Salesforce. For this tutorial, let's choose Contact as our Salesforce object so that each new form submission will create a new contact in Salesforce. Once you select this option, you should see some additional settings appear. Here, we're going to map our form fields to our Salesforce fields. The settings under the Custom Field Name column are specific fields within Salesforce that you'd like to connect to the fields in your form. The settings under the Form Field Value column are the fields in our form that we want to pull data from and send to Salesforce. In this case, the Full Name field will be mapped to our form's Name field, we'll map our Salesforce Email field to our form's Email field, and so on. If you'd like to add more custom fields, you can click on the blue plus button. Once you've finished configuring your settings, click on the Save button to save your changes. You can now preview and submit a test entry to your form, and afterwards, check your Salesforce account where you'll be able to find the information we just submitted in the Contacts tab. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the Salesforce add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.